Why frozen donor egg IVF has a much higher pregnancy rate? People are often very confused about the entire concept of freezing in IVF, whether it's frozen sperm or frozen egg or frozen embryos, because conceptually in our head, we differentiate between fresh vegetables and frozen vegetables. And we know that fresh is better. And we logically also apply this thinking to eggs and sperms and embryos. And obviously fresh must be better than frozen. That's not true at all. And in this day and age, for example, no one uses fresh donor sperm for doing donor insemination because we know it's dangerous. Frozen sperm banks have now been around for 50 years and every IVF clinic uses only frozen sperm because it's much safer. We can test for infection diseases. We can match the characteristics of the sperm donor and the husband. So the interesting thing is, if we do this routinely for sperms, when we're using donor sperms, we use only frozen sperms for a donor sperm program, why don't we do exactly the same thing for donor eggs? Shouldn't all donor eggs be frozen donor eggs? And using that logic, of course they should be. Because with frozen donor eggs, these eggs are available all the time, 24-7. We can guarantee the number of eggs available. We can match the egg donor and the patient, physical characteristics, blood groups, because we've already tested this in the past. Whereas if we try doing fresh donor egg cycles, it's a nightmare because you don't know when the donor's eggs are going to get ready. You don't know when the recipient's endometrium is going to be receptive. You're forced to take shortcuts and cut corners. You can't match blood groups. You can't do anything properly at all. But you know what? In the past, we were forced to compromise. We were forced to use fresh donor eggs for our donor egg programs because we were not able to freeze eggs well. All that has changed in the last five years. Now we freeze eggs using a method called flash freezing or vitrification and the freeze thaw survival is 100% in a good lab which means there is absolutely no reason to use fresh donor eggs at all. With frozen donor eggs we have egg banks. We can match your physical characteristics. We can guarantee that we'll have at least 10 mature eggs, which increases your chance of getting pregnant, which offers you so much confidence and reassurance. And this is now state of the art in the US. And it should very much be state of the art in India as well. And you should insist that your doctor use only frozen donor eggs for you. And the reason you shouldn't get confused is even though we freeze the eggs at minus 196 in liquid nitrogen, before we actually fertilize them in the lab, we bring them back up to 37 degrees. So once I have a frozen egg and I've thawed it, and I show you that egg as compared to a fresh egg, I promise you there's absolutely no difference in the two at all. If you're confused or you have any doubts, feel free to reach out to me. I'm Dr. Malpani. Our website is www.drmalpani.com. I've been an IVF specialist for over 30 years, and I'm happy to offer you a free second opinion. We look forward to helping you to have a baby.